Hello students, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today I am going to teach you WH question. What is WH question? What is its structure? How to use it? When to use it? First of all, we shall see what is WH question. Questions are of two types. WH questions and verbal questions. Verbal questions answer yes or no, but WH questions require so many things. So depending upon the sentence, we convert them into WH questions. What is the structure of a WH question? Let us see. On the screen you can see in the A, A type, if the helping verb is acting as main verb. So the structure will be wh word plus helping verb plus subject plus question mark. For example, if the helping verb is acting as main verb, that means sometimes b, b form of the verb that is is am are was where. These act as static verbs. So they tell the state of being and they act as the main verb. For example, this is a file. This is a file. In this statement, helping verb is, is also used as a main verb. It is telling the state of being. This is a file. So, when you convert when you convert such a sentence into wh word, suppose if underlying is there to a file. See students, in the exam, you will be asked to convert the given sentence into a wh question and in the given sentence, underline will be given to a particular word in a sentence. Related to that particular word, we have to frame a wh question means that underlined word will be the answer of your wh question. That is the purpose of converting our wh question. Let us see this example. This is a file. What is this? So we are getting the answer. What is this? A file. A file is the answer of this question. So this example is suitable for this formula. If such sentences come to you, you have to convert in this way using this formula wh word plus helping verb plus subject plus question mark. So what is this? Here in this sentence this is acting as the subject. Let us proceed. If a helping verb and main verb is present B wh word plus helping verb plus subject plus main verb plus remaining sentence plus question mark a very important part of the wh question question mark at last in the exam if you forget giving the question mark at last the sentence will not be treated as a question this is why it will go wrong it is very important to give the question mark don't forget it in the exam now let us see this type of example wh word helping verb subject if, if helping verb and main verb is present means if continuous or perfect tense is there how to convert it is showing good colors this is a statement and if they tell you to frame a wh question of which the underlined word should be the answer how to convert using this formula it is showing good colors what is it showing see here this what interrogative pronoun we have used depending upon the underlined part i will show you step by step for which underlined part what interrogative pronoun you have to take 
let us go on the c type of the wh question if no helping verb is there in the given statement if no helping verb means the sentence will be in indefinite tense indefinite tense means simple present tense or simple past tense so in indefinite tenses for present tense simple present tense do does is the helping verb and for simple past tense did is the helping verb so these helping verbs we have to use depending upon the set upon the sentence and the subject according to the formula let us see one example he speaks loudly a sentence is given to you and underline is given under this verb adverb loudly how will you frame wh question how does he speak question mark see in this sentence he speaks loudly loudly is an adverb of manner it is showing how the speaker is speaking so this is why we have used how which answers the manner of the action does we have used here because first thing is the subject subject is he it is singular and third person pronoun speaks speaks and the verb with s suffix s form is showing it is a simple present tense this is why we have used does here if subject changes they speak loudly your wh question will change how do they speak if the given sentence is in simple past tense he spoke loudly wh question will become how did he speak this is how you have to use these formulas and make the changes in wh question depending upon the tense and the subject if the subject is the answer of the question now see if the subject is the answer of the question means if a person is doing action and name of that person or pronoun of that person is underlined he eats hastily he eats hastily here helping verb is not given because the sentence is in simple present tense and if they frame if they give you the question to frame wh question to which the answer should be the subject he so how to frame who eats hastily this should be the wh question here we have used who for he he represents to a person this is why we have used who and eats we have used as it is we did not use here any helping verb means depending upon this simple present sentence we have to use it does but if the sentence if the wh question is answering the subject of the sentence here he who eats hastily he eats hastily so our question is answering the subject of the given sentence here we don't use helping verb in the second example you see they prepared well for the exam if in this sentence underline is given to the subject they they is the subject they are acting in this sentence and they are preparing for the exam when you frame wh question for this sentence use who prepared well for the exam who prepared well for the exam in this sentence also answer of your question who prepared well for the exam is they this is why we are not using did here since this sentence given sentence is in simple past to represent simple past we use a did 
but the wh question is expected to be give, uh, to be to give the answer of subject subject should be the answer of the wh question so in such sentences we don't use helping verb let us come on the next part that is a table is there this table is showing you the wh word indication which is given by the wh word and if underlined part is the given given type so where indication place and if the underlined part is showing a place then when indicates time and if the underlined part is showing time so this is how i have given you the the wh words their indication and their role for the sentence this table you have to memorize you can pause the video you can read the contents you can copy the table also since the video is available on youtube any time you can browse the video and any time you can see them fifteen type of wh words i have given you and their indications next we come on the part framing of question according to the underlying part of the statement here one by one we will see the example and how to convert them into a wh question that we will see vihan likes to show his talents here underline is given below the words to show his talents vihan likes to show his talents these words or this phrase is showing us the object object of word verb likes so if the underlined part is the object of a verb how will we frame what does vihan like see here if the underlined part is the object we use what thereafter we use the helping verb depending upon the tense and the subject here subject is vihan this is why does we have used if subject is plural we use do for the simple present tense so does we have used as the helping verb thereafter the subject and the main verb main verbs as form we have removed since we have used does here does represents simple present tense next second example her mother told her many stories about scientists many stories about scientists here two objects are there her mother told her many stories about scientists this is also the object this is the direct object underlined part is the direct object her is the indirect object so this many stories about scientist this is the object of told how will we frame wh question for this what did her mother tell her see in this sentence this sentence is in simple past tense told v2 form is used here her mother told her many many stories about scientists so when framing wh question of such sentence the underlined part is the object this is why we have used what thereafter we have used did because the given sentence is in simple past thereafter we have used subject subject is her mother this is the compound subject her mother tell her tell we have used because we have used did earlier so again we will not use v2 form of the verb we will use v1 form there after the object which is indirect object at last we used the question mark i completed my education in nanded
so here in the third example is somewhat different type in nanded again a new type of wh question so in nanded this phrase of two words is showing the place i completed my education so the wh word should be where the given sentence is in simple past so where did sorry where did i complete my education question mark come on the next example he passed ias exam in 2005 This sentence is showing you the time, the time or the year of the action. He passed IS exam in 2005. If the sentence is showing, if the underlined part is showing you the time of the action, use when. When did he pass IAS? exam so the answer will be the time in 2005 next mr mehta is doing this job to run his livelihood if you understand the sentence you will come to know that the underlined part to run his livelihood is showing the reason reason of the action action is doing doing the job mr mehta is doing this job given sentence is in present continuous tense because is and verb with the ing form doing is given here so easily you will use helping verb helping verb here but which wh word we have to use so you can see the underlined part is a reason reason of doing his job so if the reason is there you have to use why why is mr mehta doing this job why is mr mehta doing this job again the next example he was disappointed because no one helped him this example is also similar to the above one example it is also underlined part in this sentence also underlined part is showing you the reason of the ex action he was disappointed why was he disappointed why again why which represents the reason was he disappointed because no one helped him you will get the answer which is the reason why was he disappointed because no one helped him sixth example next example the automobile industrialists will suffer the loss by lockdown here the underlined part can you identify what does it show yes the underlined part is showing the object it is the object the automobile industrialists will suffer this is this underlined part is the object of suffer suffer is a verb and the sent given sentence is in simple future tense this is why after will v1 form is used here so for the object you use what what will the automobile industrialist suffer what will the automobile industrialists suffer come on the next example rahul played well in the 2020 series t20 series rahul played well in the t20 series this sentence we have discussed earlier in this sentence underline is given to the subject so subject is a person 
it is the name of a person this is why we use who and the person is the subject this is why we will not use any helping verb here if the sentence is indefinite tense then we don't use any helping verb if a helping verb is present like present continuous tense past continuous tense or perfect tenses so in that sentences we use the same helping verb who played well in the t20 series who played well in the 2020 series come on the next example we had seen a small boy and a girl with their mother here we had seen this is the object of seen the given sentence is in past perfect tense had seen is showing the past perfect tense a small boy and a girl this is the object now another example is also there we had seen some cows under a tree here in the first sentence we had seen a small boy and a girl these are the persons in the second example some cows these are animals so even if the object the object of the given sentence is a person or an animal we have to use whom with reference to them whom had we seen with their mother and answer for the second example we had seen some cows under a tree whom had we seen under a tree next example teacher appreciated my handwriting here my handwriting you know that my word represents the possessiveness my is not a pronoun it is adjective possessive adjective my handwriting so for possessive adjective if the possessive adjective is representing a person you use whose teacher appreciated my handwriting whose handwriting if whose handwriting did teacher appreciate whose handwriting did teacher appreciate teacher appreciated my handwriting if possessive adjective is present now see next example related to such sentence the bicycle standing in the sun is mine so here mine is there mine is also a form of my but mine is a possessive pronoun my is a possessive adjective so if possessive pronoun is present how to do the same interrogative pronoun you have to use who's but little bit the structure of the sentence will change who's after this you have to use the helping verb who's is the bicycle standing in the sun see here here mine is a person personal pronoun possessive pronoun this is why after whose interrogative pronoun we have used the helping verb and here my is the possessive adjective after my some noun comes compulsorily some noun comes after my or his whichever possessive adjectives are there after them some noun comes so we have to use the same noun after who's if underline is given to the possessive adjective come on the next example the favorite game among students is cricket here cricket is an option the favorite game among students is cricket underline is given to the cricket here cricket is an object this is why we cannot use what is favorite game among students you use which 
which game this is why which is the favorite game among students so this this you have to understand what is the sentence implying what is the role of underlined word or phrase in the given sentence if it is showing according to this sentence if the sentence is if the underlined part is showing some option we use which which to frame the wh question next example wise people reply everyone very politely very politely here you can see politely and very these are the adverbs politely is showing the manner and very is adding to it but here main adverb is politely so here it is showing the manner this is why for manner we use how how do wise people reply everyone here in this sentence we used do because the given sentence is in simple present tense and here no suffix nothing is there because wise people is a plural form with plural form we don't use suffix s this is how we identified it is a simple present tense and we have used do here how do wise people reply everyone since the underlined part is showing the manner of the action we have used how next example there are 5 lakh people suffering pandemic in the world this is the present condition just example we are taking there are 5 lakh people so here underline is given for uh, to 5 lakh 5 lakh is showing the number if the number is there and the number is countable we have to use how many how many people are there suffering pandemic in the world how many people are there suffering pandemic in the world so in this sentence this 5 lakh this 5 lakh number is the adjective of number which is representing people this is why after how many we have used people word how many people are there suffering pandemic in the world come to the next example next example also belongs to the number i booked five tickets this five is showing the number of tickets countable number so again how many how how many tickets did i book how many tickets did i book did we have used because the given sentence is in simple past come on the next example more than 1000 liter liters of water is provided to needful people every day this sentence is showing a quantity more than 1000 liters of water water you don't count in number you count in quantity liters this is why we have to use how much if the underlined part is showing uncountable number or quantity so that time we have to use how much how much of water is provided to needful people every day how much of water is provided to needful people every day come on the next example government provides 5 kg rice to poor people here 5 kg rice rice also you cannot count in number one rice two rice you 
you count rice in quantity 1 kg 2 kg this is why for quantity uncountable quantity you use how much how much rice does government provide to poor people as per the structure of the question how much rice does we are used because the given sentence is in simple present tense thereafter the subject government main verb and the object we require one tablespoon salt in our whole life see the next example we require one tablespoon salt in our whole life one tablespoon is underlined here and it is showing can you guess what does it show one tablespoon is showing the quantity again uncountable uncountable quantity one table spoon salt in our whole life how much again you have to use because salt you cannot count in 1 kg 2 kg uh, sorry in 1 2 3 4 4 you have to count it in 1 kg 2 kg or 1 tablespoon 2 tablespoon this is why how much we have to use salt do we require in our whole life in the same sentence if the give underline below one just one so the question will change here if tablespoon they don't give underline below the tablespoon if they just give under one so what will be the question how many tablespoons how many tablespoons do we tablespoon salt do we require in our whole life come on the next example mahur is only 127 kilometers from nanded here the sentence is about a distance underlying part is the distance between mahur and nanded so whenever the underlying part shows the distance that time we have to use how far how far answers the distance and how long answers the duration of the time how far is mahur from nanded how far is mahur from nanded come on the next example villagers were unhappy with drought for 3 months this is showing the duration for 3 months is the duration of unhappiness of people so for the duration you use how long how long were villagers unhappy with drought how long were villagers unhappy with drought come on the next examples i play for 2 hours the same sentence which is showing the duration of time i play for 2 hours how long do i play here we have used do in the given sentence no helping verb was there it was simple present tense now it is the time for exercise i hope that you would have understood all the examples properly learn the table which is given in this video and now start doing the exercise exercise you do very carefully if you have any doubt regarding exercise you can ask me on my personal whatsapp number see on the screen you can pause the video and you can copy the sentences